Hey guys, today I want to talk about uh, my the wiring on the MPCNC. So I had a, a viewer in one of my other videos ask if I could do a little overview of all the wiring I've done to get the MPCNC um, up and running. So just to give you a quick background, I have the full-size Rambo board and I have the dual end stops as well. So um, I guess I will just kind of start with the power supply and kind of go through um, how things are wired. So to zoom out a little bit here, I've got the enclosure and I have the power supply mounted underneath the enclosure here. So I'll get down here and we'll try to get a view of that. So uh, this is just a standard 30 amp 12 volt power supply, printed a couple of brackets to get it kind of mounted up out of the way. So um, the fan kicks on every now and then, but it really doesn't get hot or anything. I'm not really um, putting it to work. Uh, 30 amps is way overkill, but you know, it's not like it's gonna have too much amperage or anything. So, uh, there's my fan controller for the uh, dust collection, which I'll, I'll get into in a minute. But basically, I've got a power strip inside here, and this power strip here is uh, plugged into the wall, I've got an outlet over here. And I've got this power strip here. I always like to make sure all my power strips are 15 amps. My outlet here, my smart outlet, is for the light that is inside the enclosure. I've got it on a smart outlet here. I've got a Google Home in the shop here, which is kind of nice. So, got the wiring along the left side here. Goes inside. I got a couple clips just to kind of attempt to keep things organized. So, bear with me on the movements here. So, all right. So, let's see here. I've got the power strip plugged into the wall and then this here is my uh, power going to the power supply underneath so this is supplying my 120 volts to the power supply itself and then I've got my wiring that comes up from there so the red and black wires here come along the inside of the enclosure here and we'll go into my my enclosure. This, so this supplies power to the uh, the board itself here. So you can see on the right hand side there, bear with me on the focus as well. So <clears throat> anyway, that supplies power to the board. Uh, pretty straightforward. Um, continuing on here with the power strip, I've got the white, uh, I don't know, wire here uh, routed along the edge here and this actually goes to the router itself so I've got that fished along inside my cable tray here or my, my cable chain I should say and that comes up along here and that comes up along here into my XT60 connector and these are rated for 60 amps continuous you know we're only pulling what 10 12 maybe on the router and basically what this does here is this allows me to quickly disconnect the router to put on my laser attachment or my uh, vinyl cutter or a plotter and um, I try to keep this as modular as possible just so it makes things quick and easy to change so um, another comment here, I've got my Z-axis stepper here, um, uh, cable routed through the cable chain. Doesn't need to be on a quick disconnect. It's just kind of there. So, um, another thing to note here on the white power cable going to the router is that I have it ran through this e-stop enclosure and this e-stop enclosure here is a let's see if I got I got to think about this I have two normally closed contacts on this e-stop and so therefore when I hit it it breaks open not only my 110 for the router but it also kills power going to my uh, Rambo board <clears throat> excuse me so I've got the 110 volt killed here and then I also got the tw the 12 volt killed to the Rambo and so my my reasoning for that is not only it's a safety button, but 
when I kill this, I only kill the Rambo board. And I might have mentioned this in another video, but I'll talk about it again. I want to keep the Rambo board power or the, the Rambo board killed, but I want to keep the Pi powered up. Because the Pi takes about four or five minutes to reboot. And if you need to just make a quick adjustment and you want to kill the kill the machine, you hit the E stop. You want to get back up and running as soon as you can. So you want to keep the Pi running and only kill the Rambo board. So that kills all the steppers and the router in one uh in one one shot so um, coming off of the 12 volt power supply I have another power cable here and this is a little adapter I printed it is one of those 12 volt to 5 volt um, regulators and I it's try to get a better angle here uh, this enclosure is on thing on Thingiverse and it basically drops the voltage down from 12 volts to 5 volts and I've got that routed along here and then let's see here yep so this is my should be micro USB here yep so I got that terminated to a micro USB end here and nothing special or fancy here bear with me on the focus so um, anyway we'll let that go you get the idea but um, that gives me power to the uh, Raspberry Pi so anyway, real quick, um, like I mentioned before, I have the dual end stops um, on the machine and therefore that allows me to just run each motor directly into the board. And I have the wiring coming off each motor here. I try to keep it as pretty as I can here. And I got the sleeving and I basically run the sleeving down each side you can see on the on the back right here I've got it I'll run along the back here back left and then on the right side I've got the same I hope the movements okay guys I apologize if it's too much and then coming down along the bottom and then finally coming into the box here I've got my different steppers labeled here so let's see if I can get a good focus on this here so I've got each stepper labeled and these are for the stepper motors themselves. So I got X1, Y1, X2, Y2, and then in the middle I've got my Z and that's a different color. So it's it's obvious. Actually, I do have a tag on that color. So it's, it's obvious. Actually, I do have a tag on that. That's underneath. You see it. So, um, so these are all power for my steppers and then in the upper left here I've got all my end stops coming in I know that's hard to see guys and I apologize but um, that is what we're looking at I'm gonna try to focus here hope it doesn't oh I ruined it there we go so um, and then I got the end stops coming upper left here uh, if you are wiring this up for the first time do take note on your end stop um, wiring you're plugging a two pin uh, connector here into a three pin terminal on the board and you need to make sure you get it's like s minus in common there's like s plus s minus in common or something and you need to get two of them so just be mindful of that and the notes are on the forums and all that um, Ryan does a pretty good job laying that out so um, so that covers most of the basics I do have another wire coming out here this is for my laser and so I I forget what power my laser is. Um, I bought it when I was making projects for the wedding. But um, I will try to get in here and get a focus on that guy. But basically, I got my wire coming in here, and I got a connector coming down. I, I got a little hot glue to do a strain relief there, and that guy comes out into my uh, just I think this is a JST connector like a mini JST or something so um, anyway I need to work on my autofocus guys I apologize so um, anyway this guy plugs into my uh, side mount here for my laser and I, I can just run this up and over and plug that guy in here 
So um, in reality, this should be in the cable chain. I got the cable chain done before I uh, got the laser. So I just haven't gotten around to fishing that through. You know, that could be pretty fun. So um, again, going back to the mount uh, real quick, I, I try to have things wired up in a way that doesn't make them idiot proof, but makes them, you know, easily to work, easy to work with. Um, when you're working on the machine or when you're using the machine, you don't want to be fumbling with wiring and setting things up. You just want to use the machine and, and be done with it. So, um, I hope this helps someone out there. I apologize for the long video again, but, uh, just trying to get all this in one, in one take here. So, if you guys have any questions on the wiring, I will be happy to answer them. Um, feel free to subscribe if you like. Um, hope to do more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching.